that has the StockX thing, which I'll be taking off. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to be wearing it all the time so people know I got it from StockX and I paid resale. Yeah. I just spilled all my water on the ground over there. I was picking it up. What's poppin' everybody? I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over four pairs of Fear of God collab with Nike and one pair of Rude collab with Puma and I feel like these are like really big brands right now to making their way up to the top of the food chain so I'm going to be going over basically the whole shoe on how they fit so sizing quality if they're worth buying so before we even start this video I want you guys to leave a comment below talking about what's your favorite shoe that that's ever released so basically your, your grail or what's your favorite shoe out of the whole entire Fear of God collab with Nike. So make sure you guys comment down below. And if you guys could even leave a like before the video starts, that would be good. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel to help me grow. I'd be really grateful for that so I can spread my knowledge amongst all. With that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, I just finished the video and I forgot to let you guys know. So this is like a quick intermission. I'm going to be turning 21 on July, 20, July 21st. On July 3rd and I'm going to Vegas. Alright? If you guys want to see like our turning 21 in Vegas type of vlog or video and you know it's probably going to be age restricted make sure you guys leave a comment below or just like the video and if I see a lot of positive feedback towards that then I will 100% make the video and I guarantee you guys it's going to be fucking insane so back to the video okay starting with the first box I already pre-opened them because I don't want to be here struggling trying to open up a fucking box but it is coming from no other than StockX. Oh, <laughs> hit the camera. So I got the Nike Air Fear of God 1. So basically the Raid in the light bone colorway, in my opinion, which is the best. What the hell? How did that happen? With this like little pull tab thing is that's where all the, like the, the receipt and the StockX sticker and the StockX thing we're at. Oh yeah, so it comes with a sticker right here. Bro, I fucking swear to God, these birds. I hope, <laughs> these birds piss me off. They do this shit on purpose. They're like by my window, fucking whistling, whistling, whistling until like four in the morning. It's fucking annoying. And then <laughs> just the receipt right here. Oh yeah, and the good thing about these is resales, oh, it's going up right now, but uh, I got it for a good price, so barely over retail. And retail on these were like 200. So it's not that bad. Mm, this smells so good. Brand new shoe smell is probably one of the best things. Next to probably the new car smell. This shoe's like literally like crack. Ah, oh, shit. All right, I need to stop. Okay, so it comes with a, a cream pair of shoelaces. And the quality on it is really good. Like really good material, good leathers. And the inside, it's really like, you know, like a, uh, a soft ass pillow with like that memory foam. That's what it feels like the, by the ankle lining. And on this side, it has the StockX thing, which I'll be taking off. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to be wearing it all the time. So people know I got it from StockX and I paid resale. Yeah. All right. So they have the straps on the front of them. And I was actually thinking about taking off the straps. So cutting them completely off because I saw a picture and they look a lot better. All right. So this is what they look like without the strap, which I think looks a lot better than with the strap on. <laughs> the strap on, huh? And then this is with the strap. You guys let me know if you guys would want to watch a video of me cutting off the straps. So they're strapless and I might do it. Maybe, maybe. No promises. A black swoosh on it, like a waffled bottom. And overall, just great materials. Really I feel like this is going to be a really comfortable shoe. And I did go true to size, which is a size nine and a half. Because I was told that these run true to size. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're buying shoes. So the next one is the Puma Cell in the collaboration with Rude. And it's a Cell Endura Rude on the front. So popping this sucker off. I did get these on GOAT for I think below retail when they first dropped. Because I didn't even realize they dropped when they first released. So I was like, fuck, I hella want them. On the paper, it says Puma Cell. And then rude across it, which is, I think just like the Fear of God shoe, just the subtle details. Before we even start, it comes with these shoelaces, which is like a Tiffany blue colorway. And on the aglet, it says rude. Taking them out of the box, these are probably, probably hands down my favorite shoe. Maybe top, top three in my whole collection. And these are just so comfortable and just 
Overall, such a great shoe. It's a really chunky dad shoe. The only thing I wish was changed about these shoes is the back. How it has that Tiffany blue on it. I just don't like that. If it was just like a... If they would have kept it the, the same colors they had, like, right there, was like a dark brownish, that would have been so much better. Okay, so these shoes are sun-dried, which gives it that aged, beat-up look. And I have beat up these shoes a lot, but you can barely even tell. They look like I, I literally just opened them. On the side of both shoes, it says Rude on it. And the pull tab has the Puma on it. And then on the other aglet, it has Rude on it as well. And one of the best details on it, which on the toe box, it says Forever Faster. And these are honestly such a good shoe. My grandpa even liked these ones. And I told him he could have these ones and then I'll just go out and buy another pair. He felt how heavy they were and he didn't really like them. But I, I don't mind it because they are actually pretty heavy. I got chewed a size, which I got a size nine and a half. And they're stupid comfortable. And right now they fit just a little, ever so little bit amount of room in them. So I could have went a size nine. So keep that in mind. Now getting into the next shoe. Like I said, I pretty open the boxes already, so I'm not here. Oh, and the last one with the braids. I literally, they were literally in the box just waiting there for like three days because I've been busy with work and shit. So this pair is a Nike Air Fear God Mock. So it's the moccasins in the black colorway. And I got these in size nine because I was, people said like the size, da uh, size down because like the, it's so narrow, but I haven't even really wore these yet. I've worn these. I was thinking about actually returning them on because i actually got these on the sneakers app i got this pair and i'm going to spoil it right now and this pair so the beige colorway so i won both of these pairs on the sneakers app and i was the only reason why i even entered the raffle for this pair is because i entered it for the black pair and to be honest i was like really skeptical about buying them because i was like fuck what happens if i don't like them but i saw and then what's his name jerry lorenzo and then he posted a picture with the black pair and they just look fucking beautiful i was like oh my god so i had to get i had to go in the raffle and i got i guess lucky even though not lucky on both pairs which like i said i'm going to be returning these to nike because they're still dead stock both pairs and getting them on goat or StockX because they're like $40 cheaper like $50 so I'm just gonna end up doing that and retail on these was 180 and it has a little back pull like elastic band thing on it to tighten it from the back and matte black finish on the aglet things on both pairs they both have straps on them there's a really good strap on both pairs I like how on the beige colorway the black just pops like crazy so that's one cool, pretty cool if they, if it was like a different color than black. But at the same time, I don't know how it would look if it was like a light bone off-white colorway. You hear these fucking birds? Oh my god. So then there's a, a magnetic button to get your foot, foot in and out of the shoes. And it's literally the only way you can get them in and out. Because this shit's like a material that doesn't stretch or anything. This is like the denim of materials for shoes. Because you know, denim doesn't stretch or nothing. So yeah, this is what I would get compared to. And both of them have waffle bottoms, so not that good of grip. Well, I don't know yet because I have more of them. I've tried wearing the black ones, but I feel like they're a little tight on my feet because I did size down. But at the same time, they don't feel tight because the, there's a lot of uh, ankle slippage from the back. Because there's, I don't know, dude, it's fucking confusing. I don't know if I, if, if I really like them because of that. Because every time you're walking around, it just feels like your foot is like slipping out of the shoe, slipping out of the shoe, slipping out of the shoe. It just gets annoying. On both pairs, it has Nike or Air Fear of God on the inside. And the things that make like the shoes that Jerry Lorenzo put out, which is like the Fear of God, are just like the subtle details, like the Nike swoosh on it, the the Air Fear of God SN8329166 on the midsole, which I believe is his grandfather's like dog tag number don't i'm not 100 percent sure it's just what i've heard and on the back of it where it says nike air so just like the subtle details that make the shoes the shoe so on to the next one and these are a size nine and a half nike air skylon fear of god crack my back let's get some asmr in there oh oh fucking hell and i did get them in the black colorway and these like with the rude i wear them damn near every day like they're like taking turns right now and they're such a good shoe comfortable at first i didn't like them at all because they're like the leather in the inside felt really stiff i don't know i they, i had to break them in i had to wear them a lot for them to break in a really soft material now with leather they came with black flat shoelaces and the cream round shoelaces so they're thicker like rope or rope like just like the ones that are on the shoe already which are in black and they have like i said subtle details on 
Every pair of shoes that I've shown, subtle details. I don't know what this is called, but it's on it to make it tighter or looser. The toe box on both shoes is 3M. So if you have a flash on any camera and they're taking a picture of your shoes, you're gonna be shining because it's 3M. It says fear of God on the side of them underneath the swoosh, which I'll show you guys. And a, like a cream light bone midsole and sole and like a metallic Nike swoosh. Just overall great shoe. I went true to size on these and they fit perfectly. These, and I'm actually trying to get the, the light bone colorway right now, but nobody's accepting my offer. Fucking bastards. <laughs> it's like my offer's good too. It's not even like a shit offer. Yeah, they haven't accepted it yet on either GOAT or StockX. And in the inside, it did say air fear got on the inside, but I've worn so much that it already rubbed off. And these... Like I said, these are these ones are my top five favorites. So that's all of the shoes. Okay, so those are all the shoes I ended up picking up out of the collection of the Fear of God collab with Nike and with the Rude and Puma. So I got the the Pumas, the Raids, the Skylons, and shit, the moccasins. I would say I really like all the shoes. I just wish the moccasins fit a little bit better. If you can get them for like below retail how they are right now, I would say might as well go try them out. I would say go maybe if you have a fat foot or a wide foot, so I don't hurt on you guys' feelings. I would say go size up or maybe even true to size. And if just like normal, you can either size down because it's so narrow and long like a dagger dick. It'll fit the same. And the only bad thing is that it's, you're still going to be getting that feeling of the ankle slippage which feels really weird and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to my channel i'd be really grateful for that to help my channel grow so i can spread my knowledge amongst all so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and what i'll see you guys next time